Hello students welcome to this video in this video we are going to learn about the excretory system of the cockroach now as discussed earlier you know that malpighian tubules are the main excretory organ of the cockroach so where are these malpighian tubules located as we saw in digestive system of the cockroach see here we already saw that malpighian tubules are located at the junction of mid gut and hind gut if you haven't watched the digestive system of the cockroach please watch it so that you get a clarity about that too now if i draw a structure of just one tubule okay just one tubule out of those 150 or malpighian tubules okay this one structure let's study about how it performs the excretory function in cockroach now as i said you earlier the first thing is these are the main excretory organ of the cockroach already discussed that they are yellow colored they are almost 100 to 150 in number okay so almost 100 to 150 in number yellow colored freely hanging structures in the junction of mid gut and hind gut okay now what this malpighian tubules do see this is the body cavity of the cockroach the body cavity of the cockroach is also called as hemocoel where all the organs tissue everything will be present right so in this hemocoel where tissues are present the tissues will release potassium urate potassium urate will be there there might be co2 and water also okay so some co2 some water and potassium urate will be excreted out by the tissues now these potassium urate will be absorbed by the malpighian tubules now the malpighian tubules are lined see the a lining is present what is this lining this lining is of glandular epithelium glandular epithelium okay so glandular epithelium will be present as a lining around the malpighian tubule now this potassium urate will be absorbed by the glandular epithelium the lining of the malpighian tubule and it will be converted see this is the conversion which is going to happen over here inside okay potassium urate will be converted into potassium bicarbonate plus uric acid okay potassium bicarbonate plus uric acid and this uric acid will be released into the next structure that is the proximal part of the hind gut that is ileum so malpighian tubules will convert the potassium urate into potassium bicarbonate plus uric acid and this uric acid will be released into the ileum just because the cockroach excretes out uric acid it is also known as a uricotelic animal uricotelic there are three types a monotelic ureotelic and uricotelic on the basis of what nitrogenous waste the particular organism releases out in case of cockroach it releases out uric acid that is the reason it is a uricotelic animal now last thing which you need to remember over here is that Although malpighian tubule is the main excretory organ there are few accessory excretory organs also so what are present now cockroach also has certain fat bodies which will help the malpighian tubules fat bodies are there there are certain nephrocytes okay fat bodies nephrocytes will be present in both male as well as female cockroach now there is one exception over here there are uricose glands uricose glands okay you have to remember about this that these uricose glands are present only in case of male cockroach uricose glands are absent in case of female cockroach as discussed earlier remember anal style is present in male cockroach which is an exception and uricose glands are present only in male cockroaches okay this will help the male cockroach in case of excretion so i hope this much part is clear to you about the excretory system of the cockroach now to discuss little bit about what this nitrogenous uh, waste is released by the fat bodies and nephrocytes see this part was about the tissues near to the mid gut and hind gut near the junction when malpighian tubule is present it will take the nitrogenous waste and convert it into uric acid but what about 
the tissue is present near the head of the cockroach the head is also going to excrete some amount of waste the organs present there are also going to excrete some amount of waste so in that case what happens is that these nitrogenous waste excreted near the head region will be captured by this fat bodies and nephrocytes they will absorb those nitrogenous waste and they will release them into the tissues over here okay so i hope this is clear what these two are going to do the fat bodies and nephrocytes will take the nitrogenous waste from that part that is around the pericardial sinus pericardial sinus cardial word stands for heart so the sinus the space where heart is present the first sinus of the cockroach is pericardial sinus so from there they are going to absorb the nitrogenous waste they will store it and they will release those excretory products in the hemocele the body cavity of the cockroach and from there again the malpighian tubule will absorb it and convert it into uric acid and further release it into the ileum okay so i hope the excretory system of the cockroach is clear to you please do like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any doubts please mention it in the comment box and if you have any suggestions regarding the future classes topics please do mention in the comment box thank you